So we're about to upgrade this. So let me teach you how to change this to, hey, look at that. All right, Terrio. Oh, oh, kill him, oh, kill him, oh. What to do, my boys? Today will not be working on the beautiful GTR. Today we'll be working on my daily. It's right over here. It's a 2013, but I did buy something to kind of make it look a little bit new, a little facelift from DMP Cars. So let's go check it out real quick. Let me go show you what came in and let's install this motherfucker. So everything that comes inside the box is all the tools. I already have one, I have one right there. Extra tools, I'm guessing that you might need for this car. All the wiring, it's right here. The big old TV right there. And the little frame that is gonna replace the TV that you have inside. And all the instructions, cause we all need them. I've never done it before, so this is gonna be very helpful. All right, so now that we're inside the car, um, it kind of looks like it's just a plug and play type of thing. Original motor, press power, part two. All right, let me try at least take this off, see how hard it is, and I'll put you right back. All right, so what do you want to do is just get your little pry tool they give you. Go like this, go all the way, keep moving. See if I can keep getting it a little bit out. I have some right there. I had to get this because the sun was blinding my damn eyes. But so you, what you want to do is get the prior tool. Just keep going like this. Keep moving up. Please be very careful because you can snap it. It'll be pretty easy. So the only thing I got to do right here is there's two clips right here that holds the vent for this can come off. And I have to use one of the tools they gave me if I can find it. Got it. It's just one of these little Captain Hook ones. I believe you gotta go like this and go up. Um, uh, give me a sec and let me see if I can get it and I'll show you how to do it. All right, let me zoom it in real quick so y'all more folks can kind of see what is, how to do it. So what I wanna do is put the little tool like that, go up, push it in. Push it a little bit more in, go like this, and pull back like that. And then you can get the vent out. So when you do that, you know, you gotta unplug this little piece. And then after that, you go like this. I think you just slide it to the side. And this should just come off. Maybe this side too. Come off just like that. Then you gotta get a little, I think it's an Allen key. All right, so before doing that, you gotta get your little prior tool. Start prying, kind of pull. Just know, hope you don't break anything, guys. Don't be clumsy. Be pretty smart with it. Love your cars. Oh, kind of hard to do this with one hand. Oh, let me put you down real quick. And let's, let's, get, let's get that off real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, yo. Let's put that right here. And then I, let me go see if I have the right tool to take that out real quick and I'll be right back. So what you want to get is a T20. You put it in here, he said, I think he said don't take it off all the way and just loosen it up. A little bit more loose. Then, we can kind of put it right here. And I think we got to move this out of the way. So let me try to get that real quick. All right, so what you want to do is get the T20, take these and then use a prior tool to pull right here. And there's one right here and then pull this forward. And then unplug this one, I believe, and this one. So after you unplug it, you got to take off the radio. You're going to use two T10s. So for you to unlock the radio, right where the screws were at, right here, you get your screwdriver and you just slam it down and it'll push it out. Then you get this one to push it out. And then there's something you gotta disconnect this one right here before you completely take it out. 
So you're going to be taking off the fiber line. Please be careful. It does break pretty easy. Then after that, there's a little switch on the bottom. Switch on the bottom. You can take that off. Now you want to go get your wires that come with it. Now you want to connect the female to the male. Just like that. Then connect the other, the new one to the old one. Then last but not least, go ahead and connect the fiber cable right back. So once you're done, you're gonna deal with this whole mess right here that I'm dealing with. I had to go get a fishing line. I'm gonna have to run this through here. And yeah, it looks bad, but it's kind of easy if you kind of just follow the steps. All right, so to make it easier in your life, you can just take off this little black piece. There's like three little bolts and you just fish line the wire just like that. And then just tuck everything in and put it in, in here and connect it to this. So you run all the wires and you go ahead and put your stereo back. It's pretty easy. The only thing that I kind of had was the big old female in was kind of fat so i had to kind of just wiggle stuff around and then the pigment's already out so this is how it looks now go ahead and i think we got to go to the tv and then we'll go from there so once you're done and you put it back you kind of want to get this take off the little tv and install it right back i need both hands for this so you just want to go ahead and just put everything back and then just run the wires through inside and yeah it looks pretty good we're getting back to normal so once you're done putting all that, you're going to want to go get the plastic bracket they give you. And I'm pretty sure it's going to go like this. And take these off. You know, you put it both in and let me bolt it up real quick. So once you get everything, kind of put it up right there. You just got to run the wires and then just connect them. But I don't know if you can kind of see it's kind of loose back there. I still got to clip it. They give you two screws. But let's see if all this work actually works and see if this actually turns on and actually works. Mm. Oh, it takes a good, like a good minute to boot up. Android. Hey. Um, let me start, let me try to mess with it real quick but i'm over here playing with it so my phone's already connected but the coolest thing is this the dashboard like you go to dashboard is on sport and when you rev it it actually shows dude that's so fucking cool now let me go ahead and finish everything off clean up a little bit and you're gonna see the final product sorry about that my phone keeps connecting so it like wants to record and play music and it stops recording so I had to disconnect it. And so if you guys want to just play radio, let's just say, because mine's already connected to Bluetooth. So you go to radio and it goes back to the regular function. And if you use this right here, like the stock one, it changes it. And if you want to connect the phone, go to audio, Bluetooth, same thing like always, it's just like the stock one. Um, if you want to just go back to music, you go to Bluetooth, audio, And see, it kind of always tries to kick me out. But the thing that I do like the most hold up, is go home, go here, dashboard. And if you rev it, that's pretty cool right there. You can also change it to Eco Pro and Comfort. I'm going to leave it just leave it in Sport because it looks cool. And you can you connect to Wi-Fi, use your GPS. You also have apps. Go right here. It's pretty cool. I like it. So I would recommend it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy. Hope you guys like the video. And yeah, thanks.